Gravel motorcycles, we started two years ago. We were on the bike shed show in London, and there we had the idea to make it like a flat tracker for the cities. Yep, uh, for both actually, for the cities and off-road. Beware is here with, in the GSMA's uh, foundry, demonstrating some low power 5G use cases. So one of the things with the new technology is that we begin to discover some endless use cases that we hadn't considered before. And in this particular case, we've launched recently a small device called a B-Mini, an asset tracker. Um, and what we've stumbled across is a need for tracking motorized equipment like electric motorcycles or uh, e-bikes. And we've integrated with it to provide a low power tracking device that can do things like uh, acceleration, we can do uh, g-force impacts, we can do tilt, those sorts of things. Our partnership with Beware is quite important um, because the device that deliver us is a simple device, simple to integrate in our bike, it's very easy to use and it's not just an anti-theft device, it's also for security, like if, if somebody crashes the device, it registers it and it sends out an SOS, so it's, a, it's a, not just a, a, an anti-theft, but also a safety device for us. The co-founders of Beware, the senior management team, we were all pioneers in the vehicle telematics market about 24 years ago when we launched. And with low power 5G and acid tracking and connected sensors, it's, the whole opportunity is really orders of magnitude larger. It's just, a, we call it an obnoxiously large op opportunity. And the only way to tackle something that large is to have a strong partner network. So with the help of GSMA, we're able to evangelize technologies like this with the, the folks like Accor, uh, BMP Business Mobility Partners, uh, with folks like T-Mobile. We're able to get the message out to a, a wider uh, array of people because generally speaking, people aren't sitting around waiting for stuff that didn't exist. You got to bring it to them. And with their help, we've been able to bring the technology to a broader mass. The move towards miniaturization provided us with a platform now to address some interesting requirements that we've come across in the last four years since mobile IoT has been introduced. So you'll start to see new, new products, new technology come out, variations on a theme that begin to address specific use case problems that we've addressed, uh, haven't addressed, but we stumbled across in the last, say, three or four years, and allows us to refine the, the, the products to meet the, the emerging needs of the market. So we're very excited for the, the grow in the EV market and also for Trevor growing within this EV market.